Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another explore video. So today we're going to be taking a look at creativity combo deck. Recently the creativity combo deck has been popping off in Pioneer and it has shown a lot of result. We do have most of the cars from the Pioneer list but unfortunately we don't actually have two cars that they play to win the game which are Xenagos and the World Spine Worm. So instead we're going to be playing a copy of Locust God and Sage of the Falls and basically what's going to happen here is that the Locust God has a text that says whenever you draw a card create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. The important fact here is that it has a haste. When Sage of the Falls also comes onto the battlefield with the creativity, since the Sage of the Falls says that whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield, you get to loot a card, basically draw a card and discard a card. So as long as you have enough cards in the deck, then you can create as many 1-1s one -ones as possible into winning the game. So this is where it gets a little bit worse compared to the creativity list that you see in the pioneer list the two combo pieces they use it doesn't have that additional requirement needing enough deck size to win the game and this is definitely relevant especially if you're playing against a deck such as angel decks for example so let's say you didn't draw creativity for the longest time and you only have like 30 cards left in the deck and you finally find indomitable creativity but you see that opponent already has 37 life or something like that then that's where it gets a little bit difficult you have no chance of winning but I think this combo deck is pretty powerful enough to be good in best of one setting. And since the angel decks don't really play any interaction spells, as long as we can get our creativity down early enough, we should be able to win versus them pretty easily. And obviously we're going to be testing this deck out in best of one because of the upcoming qualifier. And I also have a post game section at the end of the video to talk about deck. And let's hop on over. This is kind of a fishy hand. Because I have Locust God, but I have Creativity. This could be a fishy hand, but we do have um, another swap. Literally, I switched this deck today. And now everybody is playing Swamp. I don't get it. What happened? Like, what happened? Phyraxian Arena. Um, deck? What's happening here? I require, um... Shark Typhoon, make this appear. Um, Fire's Prophecy. I would like a uh, Fire's Prophecy, please. That'd be very, very nice. You know, funny thing is, the safest place. Locust God can be is actually on the battlefield. Unironically. Because I am so afraid of a discard spell right now. There's a Sheldred. We knew that was going to happen. So... 
we just do this? Now shoulder is gone. Okay, never mind. What in the world just happened? Are you kidding me? Uh Ain't no way that just happened. Oh my god. No shot. Okay, well that that's good enough. Like no shot. Children children into children? Hello? No way. Okay, I mean, I have another one. There's just no way they get another shoulder, right? <laughs> Murderous Rider, okay. Sure. Okay, that's slightly annoying. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, slightly better. Slightly better. No, why do you have infinite shouldered? That's your third shouldered. Game, please. My opponent is actually a Luxac. My opponent is an actual luck sack. Oh my god. We could we could we could beat two shoulders, but a third one. Oh man. Oh man, we, we were so close to winning. A third shouldered. Actual Luxac coming through. So, I mean, that's the thing about this deck. It can be a shoulder or two, but a third one? Definitely, uh, definitely kind of hard. It's a bit tough when you see a third one. Unfortunately, that is the case. Oh, maybe I should have played the Altuara. Maybe I was greedy there. Yeah, that was pretty greedy. Yeah, I, I was trying to save the Ottawara, but yeah, that's pretty greedy.
Huh. So they can have... I guess they can have the... Um, the one that like... Um... Oh, okay. They didn't. That's good. That's also good. Spectral Sailor, sure. We'll pass. Yeah, we don't take uh, we don't care about taking one damage. We're still at 19. Okay, that's a that's a tilter for sure. Oh my god. What the heck? We definitely didn't want to see that. But we do have Shark Typhoon here, so... Should I just let this go? No, I think I should do it now. Okay, we got the creativity. Supreme Phantom. Slightly annoying. We're just going to focus on landing the sh landing the shark typhoon as big as possible, so we can get rid of the mausoleum wanderer, and then we'll we're gonna try to creativity. One, two, three, four, five. Because right now they only have one card. So we killed the Mausoleum Wanderer, which is fantastic for us. And then we're going to, let's see. Kill the Spectral Sailor since it can draw.
They can pay two. So let's see what they do. So I can pay most of their counter spells right now. Actually, does this work? I should think... I think I made a mistake there. I don't think that actually works. Because they can pay an, again? Well, actually, if they do pay a, a tap out, we can just Indomitable Creativity, so... Bone's about to make a fatal mistake. And that's why we have three Shark Typhoons in the deck. Sure. Why not? That's really interesting. So yesterday, I don't think I've seen a single like black decks. As soon as I switch to this deck, now everybody is playing black. What's up with that? Rogue. Try to kill uh kill the soaring thought thief here. Yeah, one counter spell gone. I guess we'll try to go for the win. Like, would they have another one? That's my issue here. Do they have another one? They could even like mill my combo piece. Wait, they could lose if they do this. Oh, thank God they didn't mill my combo piece. Oh my God. That would have been horrendous. Okay, we should be able to win. Boop, boop. And 
And that's game. Oh no. Call them, please. Good game. All right. Wow. Okay, I mean, surely that's a mulligan, right? Then we bottom the big score because this is four mana and we can at the very least cycle tar Shark Typhoon. Don't you dare. Oh my god. I think it's Fable or Shark. But if they had multiple Thought Seizes... Okay, I was gonna say, like... You could have also taken that, which would be bad for me. Creativity is actually our only answer to like... Um, Shouldred? Ho ho ho! What do I see there? What do I see there? I'll take another land. So I don't think they have a fatal push because if they had one, I think they would have used it. Maybe I'm just tripping. They're passing. Okay. Mutavolt. If I animate the Mutavolt, I'd have four mana total, which won't be able, to, which is not going to be enough for um, creativity here. So, well, I'm going to get rid of this 100%. And we're just going to attack in case they have a fatal push. Just gonna play it safe. No need to be like... No need to act too crazy. I feel like they do have a fatal push because they keep not activating the Misery Shadow. Well, I guess we're gonna have to play even safer. <laughs> 
The rest main deck. That's a bit excessive. Like, they won't use the blood token. They won't use uh, this misery shadow to pump. What the heck? Another one? Okay, well, we're Thoughtseize proof at least. Player Shaldred. Yeah, they definitely have a fatal push. The way they're playing. Can I get a land, please? One land. No Lando. So even if I animate, I can't re I can't animate the Muta Vault. I have five mana. I think I just want to have a fatal push up. I mean, impulse up. Now, why would you not tap the reef here? You made me take additional damage for no reason. Okay, taking one damage for no reason. Now I go to five. Now I go to one, I mean. Obliterating Bolt! Okay. Okay, opponent had uh, Duress, Thoughtseize. Fatal Push, Obliterating Bolt. Not like this. Man, that two of Mutavolt is actually kind of um terrible, isn't it? Is this life gain? This could be life gain. I mean, their name is Angel, so most likely they're playing like some sort of, sort of an Angel deck. Which is not ideal, especially considering that we're going second. Double Righteous Valkyrie. What a luck sack. Well, we do have 50 cores in the deck. And we're about to combo off, so... Sure. Go ahead. This game is over.
Easy game. Now we just have to repeat this 27 times or my opponent leaving the game. There we go. No creativity, but we do have double impulses, so... Might be able to find it. What in the world is this? Uh... Mountain... Forest and a plain, that's... Huh. What does that mean? Oh, it's just an angel deck. Just an angel deck, no biggie. Although I will say... Wish we had... A counter spell here. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. I think I'll grab a counter spell so that we can counter spell here. And potentially big score into creativity and winning the game. If they don't play anything like special, I'll. Oh, I don't. Do I care about that? Let me see here. Creativity. I guess I kind of care because they're gaining a lot of life. So, unless they do something crazy... We can just, uh, big score into creativity and win the, win the game. I mean, they're gonna get, gain a lot of life, so... Okay, that's fine. So, we should be able to win here. That should be game. Kind of close. Because they're already at 37 life and we only have uh, 42 cards in the deck. There you go. Okay, this deck is... Okay, it's finally catching on fire. I was a kind of a doubter at the start. Honestly, the, the games that we lost have been incredibly unfortunate, right? Um, let's see... I think I actually have to shock this, since uh, creativity costs three, three uh, red sources. So we lost to that one game, where we creativity th their Sheldred, thinking they'd get something else, and then they'd get another Sheldred. Feels bad, man. And I lost to a blue deck? That's that's the one where we we got stuck. Another impulse. Hmm.
Hope they don't have a spell to protect this. Okay, so they did. This isn't good. The fact that we can't... Should I just combo? We could just combo. We could just combo. Like, we're not gonna be able to win here, but... We could still combo. We'll just create a board that they can't really deal with. So unless they have a protection spell... We should be still be able to win this one. Nice. Uh, bit of a sussy hand. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mulligan this one. We don't have Fire's Prophecy in the hand. I will keep this one. I think we have to shock. I don't want to, but I think we do. Uh-oh. Grease Fang. Grease Jam. I think I might have to cycle the Shark Typhoon. Yeah, I think I have to uh, cycle the Shark Typhoon here. The reason why I can't fiery impulse this Rafine's Informant is because... Actually, do I? Wait, can I go back? Okay, I apparently I can't go back. Back. Okay, never mind. I can't go back. Okay, that's a card. What I, what, what I meant to say was because I didn't have Fire's Prophecy to deal with Grease Fang, right? And I see a Parhelion, so... Oh, that's a good one.
I kind of want to keep the Fire Impulse to play with the Fable. I think that's what I need to do. No, it's a tap land. No. I'm going to miss a Creativity 2. I'm not even sure how I beat uh, Liliana here. I'm not sure I can. To be perfectly honest with you. I actually don't think I can beat uh, Liliana here. That sucks. <laughs> so we know one of the creativity as the bot at the bottom. Now we just discarded a creativity. I'm tired of your secrets. So we have to top deck a creativity. And, oh no! Okay, we lost. There's nothing we can do now. I don't think there's anything we can do to win the game. Because now the problem is... Liliana is going to keep up upticking, right? But then we have to discard... A land. That means we don't have 5 mana to creativity the 2 treasures. So yeah. I, I think that's a I think that's a loss. Okay. We see a Karuga, we have make this appear. The unfortunate part is that we're going second. But Karugas don't play any spells until turn 3, so Okay, now is not the time to draw lands. It is not the time to draw only lands here. Okay, Fire's Prophecy. Slightly decent, still not good enough. At least we can kill the Bone Crusher Giant with Fire's Prophecy. Do we care about Omnath? Maybe. What a what a draw. Come on, deck. Got a creativity. A 
Okay, that that has to go, right? That's a scary card. Ooh, okay, there's a creativity. Okay. So next turn we can win. Next turn we can win. Bone bone crusher, sure. If that's what they're gonna do, they're dead. That's G to the G. Very nice. So, I mean, we played... So, we played just 11 games just now. And... I mean, we still went positive, but I wouldn't say this is the this would this would be the deck to play in the qualifier. I think against the Rakdos mid range, actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But Shald, if they have Shaldred, and then you, I mean, you've seen that one game, um, this game here, uh, we creativity their Shaldred, and then they got a Shaldred. So you can technically win if you. I I think it's actually a doable matchup. I think it's a 50-50 matchup. But surprisingly, there's a lot of rogue decks. We fought two rogue decks. Uh, one here and then one here. I think we would have been able to win this one. I mean, we just lost the top deck war, basically. That's what it came down to. So a lot of 50-50 matchups. I think the rogue is definitely a doable matchup. I think it's I think it's a solid 50-50. And then there's spirits, which are probably like 60-40 in their favor, but definitely you can pull through. So there's a lot of 50-50 matchups. So unfortunately, I thought this deck was linear enough to actually just win the game, like an unfair combo deck. Surprisingly against Angel deck, if you go first, you're incredibly favored. If you go second, uh, we played against two Angel decks where we went second, like in a row here. And we were able to pull through pretty easily since we were able to combo off on turn five. I think turn five is going second. Turn five is the last turn you could combo. If you if you combo one turn after, you're going to lose the game since they gain too much life and you're not going to have enough cards in the deck to win the game. There's some problems with the deck, especially in best of one. I think, I think the deck is very well suited for best of three. So unfortunately, this is, if I were to play qualifier tomorrow, this is probably not the deck I would play. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, and if you did, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.